This morning, as we mentioned, Gary Johnson embarrassed himself in his response when he was questioned about Aleppo. And for the first and possibly last time in this campaign, everyone spent the day talking about the Libertarian presidential nominee. But yesterday, Mark and I spent some time with him and his running mate, Bill Weld. Since most people don't know much about either of them personally, we wanted to give them a chance to show us and the country who are they? Who are these dudes? We started with the top of the ticket, asking Gary Johnson to talk about his family. My kids have just been textbook. They, they, they're wonderful. How old are they? Uh, 34 and 37. Where do they I, live? Uh, Denver and, uh, and uh, New Mexico. Sayas in New Mexico. Eric's in uh, Denver. But uh, more than anything, I enjoy being with them. So I'm a grandfather also. And my parents are still alive. Uh, they live in... Uh, Corrales, New Mexico. My father uh, was a uh, World War II veteran, Saving Private Ryan, a uh, band of brothers. He was in the 101st. He paratrooped into oh. Normandy before D-Day. And when you say your kids are textbook, what does that mean? That means they're terrific. They are just, you know, you, you dream about kids in the way that they should be. Well, those are my children. We before you got into politics, you were in construction and real estate, right? Well, uh, actually, I started a one-man handyman business yeah. in Albuquerque in 1974, me, and actually grew that business to employ over 1,000 people. So what, um, in, the, in the early days when it was just Gary Johnson and Associates with no associates, what kind of stuff did you do? Uh, painted houses, did concrete, uh, did carpentry work. Did All self-taught? Uh, no, actually, uh, starting, so I've paid for everything that I've had in my life since I've been 17 years old. And starting at age 17, I started working construction jobs because those were the highest paying jobs and actually got on a crew where we built houses from the ground up. Most times when we sit down with presidential candidates, we have to ask them kind of, did, did you inhale or what your experiences are with drugs in the past? In your case, we know you inhaled. You're a proud inhaler, right? Well, what, what I am is I'm a truth teller. Right. I, I, I tell the truth. You don't have to remember anything. So that's who I am. So in that context, yes. I, I have inhaled. One follow on this question, because I think it's really interesting to all the people. There are many obvious users of cannabis who identify with your campaign. You have said you're not going to partake in using any THC-related products while you're running for president. And if you were elected president, you would also abstain, right? Right. Given your views, why do you think it's important for you to abstain if you become president? I have always maintained that you should not be on the job impaired. And uh, running for president is a 24-7 gig. Being president is a 24-7 gig. The notion of incoming missiles, 12 minutes to deal with it, right. I think the American people need to be assured that uh, there's going to be somebody that answers that phone that's all there. And so, and so drinking as part of that, you know, look, I, I don't drink, and I, I would also maintain that you shouldn't be drinking uh, and be on the job either as president. Right, your view is that basically th that, that ab abstention should have applied previously, like all presidents should stay away from being on any substance that will impair them at all times. Well, and I don't want to speak for others. That's the libertarian part of me, is you may be able to do that. That may be a decision that you're, you're okay with. But for me personally, from a personal standpoint, um, I, I, would, uh, I would be abstaining. Uh, which is a better movie, Fantasia or The Sound of Music? Uh, Fantasia. Which is a better band, The Beatles or The Rolling Stones? The Beatles. Unambiguous. Unambiguous. Which is a better TV show, Mad Men or Breaking Bad? Uh, Breaking Bad. Why? Because uh, it was filmed in Albuquerque yeah, for starters. That was a layup. That was oh a layup. But the best, a, television, yeah. the best television of yeah. all time and space, Game of Thrones. Really? Oh, my gosh. No, no metaphor there for you? It's, it's, that's it. And you haven't seen it, obviously, or you'd have, you, you wouldn't have even asked that question. I've dabbled. Have said, I've dabbled in it. I don't get the accents. The accents confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have said, I concur with that. The Game of Thrones is Game the best Game of Thrones, show. yeah. I'm a Breaking Bad guy. You know why? Filmed in Albuquerque. You know, uh, um, <laughs> I, I, put, I put Breaking Bad in the top five, but uh, I put uh, Downton Abbey in the top, uh, maybe You're number two. Tell, tell, and uh, Sopranos, yeah. maybe like number three. That is, a kill, that is a killer list. What's your favorite nonfiction book? Gosh, I, I, I guess it would have to be uh, Game Change, I guess. Would have to be. Yeah, it would have yeah. to be. That's, <laughs> the right, that's the right answer to that one. What's your, favorite, what's your favorite piece of fiction? Well, uh, I, I guess it would have to be um, um, Fountainhead. Is there a president who you would model yourself after? 
Uh, J Jefferson has a lot of appeal to me yeah. uh, the, that um, that I would be um, the most frugal president uh, that has ever served in our lifetimes. Yeah. That leading by example, bringing an end to the imperial presidency. That. Uh, Myself, Bill Weld, we're going to be good stewards of this office, but we're not getting elected king or uh, dictator.